One of the most important RPGs ever made. Imagine working at Larian Studios, the makers of two of the best RPGs ever made, and currently working on Baldur's Gate 3, and hearing... One of the most important RPGs ever made. About a Bethesda game. Imagine working at Obsidian, another Microsoft acquisition, and the makers of the best 3D Fallout game, currently working on their own space RPG, and hearing... One of the most important RPGs ever made. Let's say you're a nugget chef, world class. Critics say your food is great, doesn't have bugs when you send it out. People make YouTube videos about how your nuggets are objectively better than McDonald's nuggets, despite the limitations of using the McDonald's nugget engine. Then McDonald's come out and say, One of the most important nuggies ever made. And the only thing that looks different from the usual McDonald's nuggets is that the box is more spacious. Most important RPG of all time is destined to be consigned to the list of games companies say the darndest things alongside. It just works. But that doesn't mean it's not important, just not to us. It's incredibly important to Microsoft, who have been in a tight spot for a couple of years now. Even in the face of Nintendo's aging hardware and Sony failing to come up with a competitor for Game Pass, they just can't catch a break and keep racking up the failures. Redfall was the latest misstep, with Phil Spencer himself coming out to say that even with time to fix the bugs, the game just wasn't good enough. And their tempo franchises, Halo and Gears of War, they must have run their course now because they're not releasing anything good. Forza is great, but it's not enough to carry them. Microsoft's big names are failing to deliver against pretty much guaranteed great games like Spider-Man and Tears of the Kingdom. This year's Game of the Year is going to be a doozy, and Starfield has an enormous uphill battle to even get a look in at this point. Not only Microsoft though, Bethesda are also in a bit of a tight spot. Fallout 76 was woeful on release, and despite being improved, still carries a lot of that stink. They have a reputation of releasing buggy games, and after things like an emotion-based dialogue wheel, linear quest decision, a focus on radiant quests and building, RPG fans are struggling to really consider their games as true RPGs. It's widely accepted that the best Fallout game was New Vegas, a game that was made by another Microsoft acquisition. So Starfield is key to both Bethesda and Microsoft. They need this win. They want this game to be the next Skyrim. They want this game to be a cultural zeitgeist, but for good reasons for a change. A game that people make jokes about how it's released on so many different platforms. Starfield's position in Microsoft Slate could be the thing that makes or breaks this entire generation for them. They spent $7.5 billion on Bethesda, and they need to show their shareholders it was worth it. They need it to be a flagship, something that people buy consoles for, upgrade their PCs for, and subscribe to Game Pass, just for that game. Starfield failing won't end Bethesda or Microsoft, but it will reverberate reputationally through their leadership and through to their shareholders. After two years of failures and billions of dollars spent on acquisitions. Recent leaks from internal emails at Microsoft from 2019 showing that they wanted to spend Sony out of business gives some idea of just how far away they are from where they wanted to be. Because that plan could not be going worse right now. That's why they're willing to say one of the most important RPGs ever made. And why they focus so heavily on Starfield with quite possibly the longest, most in-depth look that any game has ever had at any conference. But that look was a bit of a double-edged sword, because what we saw was a game that looks like it has a lot of No Man's Sky mechanics, doesn't look like it'll have a good story like Outer Worlds, has moments like this. Completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. He's a vacant behind the eyes puppet man, and he's talking about charisma, and they're still doing the dead center camera thing. It's also likely this game is going to just have hundreds of relatively empty, procedurally generated worlds that only contain radiant quests for gathering building materials to build ships. It is very difficult to take this seriously as one of the most important RPGs ever made. Am I going to play Starfield? 
Yeah. Will I be ecstatic if it's amazing? Of course. I love it when games succeed. Do I believe it is one of the most important RPGs ever made for gamers? No. That goes to Baldur's Gate 3. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey Todd, yeah, that building mechanic in Starfield? You know people are just going to use it to make giant boobs and dongs, right? Tits and dicks get the clicks, baby! Right. <laughs>